Welcome back to Our World with Black Enterprise. Roy Clay Sr. is the first African American to start a tech company in Silicon Valley. His extraordinary career spans half a century. He's also a Black Enterprise Tech Connects Trailblazer honoree. Paul Carrick Brunson has his inspiring story. He's known as the godfather of Silicon Valley, the first African American to work with the area's first computer company. Roy Clay Sr. was drawn to the developing tech industry, but at the start, the industry was anything but welcoming. When I graduated from St. Louis University in 1951, I sought a job at McDonald Agricraft. McDonald invited me for an interview after seeing my resume. And when I got there, they didn't know I was black. And they were very polite. So I said, we're sorry, Mr. Gray, but we have no job for professional Negroes. But Clay would not be denied. Within the year, he was working for the company. In the following decade, he would make his move to the computer firm that gave birth to Silicon Valley, Hewlett Packard. I started my role at HP among a group of eight people doing software, hardware, peripherals. Out of that group would come the first mini computer, a device that would lead the way to the tablets and smartphones we use today. My contribution to developing technology was twofold. My hands-on was to design computer software to make the computer more user-friendly. I then worked with Stanford Computer Science Group to hire the first graduates of computer science. Clay would become an advisor to a venture capital firm that would fund the likes of Tandem Computers, Compaq, and Intel. His focus was also to find top talent. I had the opportunity to meet Roy Clay uh, when he uh, took my resume and introduced me to HP. He was a very supportive uh, and wise person. Ken Coleman would follow in Clay's footsteps as a star at HP as Clay moved on to make new inroads. Well, in addition to being the first black executive at HP, being on the first black on the city council of Palo Alto, he also was the first black technical founder in the Valley. He founded Rod L. Uh, Electronics. Not only did Roy start to Rod L. Electronics, but he made certain that to the extent possible, there were other opportunities available and he promoted opportunities for other African Americans. Harry Bremen goes way back with Roy Clay. He's known him for 40 years. He's seen his friend inducted into the Silicon Valley Engineering Hall of Fame and excel as inventor, as entrepreneur, and as mentor. I think Roy's legacy as he goes on will be one of service and guidance leadership and how far we as, as an African-American community have gone and not allowing artificial obstacles to hold you back. I think Roy is a great mentor to any number of young and old people in technology and in Silicon Valley across all industries, not just the technology industry. And he's viewed as an icon by all of us. After the break, this brother and sister duo managed to turn tragedy into triumph while helping others along the way.